Hey, what's up guys? Your second favorite PE teacher, Denver, finally back with another video to show you guys all the crazy new leaked skins, pickaxes, back blings, and even a huge story about a possible time traveling tomato head cult. Yes, you heard that right. And I think I know what is going on with these lightning strikes across the map. And spoiler alert, these theories are scary good so be the first ones to know and tell all your friends about it before we get started though i love showing you guys different ways to get v bucks if you don't have any money so you can still get those cool new skins and all that we know there aren't any free v bucks out there so make sure you find something awesome and easy like inbox dollars who partnered up with me to bring you guys this awesome video today if you guys want to get some v bucks too my favorite things to do that you can try out too if you want to answer some quick surveys you can watch a few videos and then even playing some games they have a really good app too so whenever I get like a few minutes, no matter where I am, just pull out my phone. I rack up some money to buy V-Bucks or really just whatever else I want. So it's up to you guys what works best for you. Get a parent to help you out if you need it and click that link in the description to get signed up because they're giving you five free dollars just for clicking the link and signing up today. So a big thank you to Inbox Sellers for bringing us this video. And let's check out all the crazy stuff that is going to happen in update 5.3 and even season six. There is so much stuff that got leaked and these season six theories are so insane that I don't even know where to start. So let's dive right in, figure out what is going on in Tomato Town and especially this crazy picture. So the tomato head disappeared from Tomato Town and went into that rift, right? But now it came back and it's on top of a temple and a now jungle covered Tomato Town. Side note, I'm glad they got rid of Tomato Town. That place had like no good loot. Anyway, this is the temple and then this is apparently what is going on inside the temple. We see like one temple leader tomato guy and then three normal ones that are putting a tomato head on a Der Burger worker's head. So what we thought were just two restaurants that we just used to get loot out of are now looking like maybe enemies and these tomato guys are trying to get a Der Burger guy to convert to their cult or religion or whatever it is. How did we even get here and why are there a bunch of tomato head guys now? Check out what Ferb73Craft on Reddit said with this theory that seems to be coming true with every update and make sure you tell me whether you believe him or not in the comments below. He starts out by saying, as I'm sure you all know, Uncle Pete, aka the tomato, has returned to his home in Tomato Town. However, not in his former glory, his massive metallic structure reduced to a measly carved rock. Many have jokes saying that he was burned due to the rock's charcoal color, but I think I have a better idea. The Pete that returned is not the Uncle Pete that left. It is a replica, an idol carved by humans in the past. All right, just wait. If it sounds crazy, just wait. All right, this will all start making sense. This next part and the last part says, as we've seen in this update, various items from our reality have appeared, such as drift in the ATKs from the modern era. However, we've also received a Viking boat, Easter Island heads, and then he says the fact they're clean, uh, 12th century, blah, 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 he's good at history, and a variety of other time periods. My theory is that whilst the cracks brought things from different time periods, it has also sent things to different time periods. In the case of Uncle Pete, he might have been sent back to the Stone Age, causing people at the time to believe that he was a god. In fear or admiration, they made idols of him, and one of them was sent back to the original Pete's location. What do you guys think about that? Leave a comment below. Sounds crazy, but honestly, think of how everything's going on. It actually makes sense. So is the tomato head guy, aka Uncle Pete, an actual time traveler who went back in time and in doing so changed the future. And maybe even that's why the Tomato Head restaurant even exists. Some people are thinking that this all might lead up to like a big, scary Halloween story involving a big Tomato Head cult where they try to convert other characters, invite them to join, and then just keep expanding and taking over. This comment said that what they are doing in the temple proves that they're evil. But if you look at the picture, they aren't holding him down or anything. Look at it. They just, it's almost like they just have their hands kind of like on his shoulder, almost like a, like a support, like a pat of support on his shoulder. And it looks like the Dirt Burger guy is just kind of accepting that he wants to become one of them. This could even possibly be a lead up into season six where they just take over the entire map and we see tomato head artifacts and buildings everywhere but that might be just a little much for now and remember these are just theories based off what we know speaking of season six though 
and what we can hope for and what we can expect, I think we have an idea of what these crazy lightning strikes are right now. If you haven't noticed by now, they're pink. They look just like the pink lightning that comes from the stage five drift skin. So will it be connected? Do you think drift has to do with any of this? Just like when meteorites were falling in season three, will we see more and more lightning strikes? And kind of like the meteors, will it actually start to strike us and like knock our buildings down and stuff? Maybe even crazier. Will the road trip character have anything to do with this lightning? The lightning did strike an RV, but that could just be random, you know, road trip, an RV. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we're kind of going too deep here and going off course. Some were even thinking that the lightning strikes might finally open up the bunker in Wailing Woods. I love this theory. We might finally get to see the secret of what's inside. I'm still hoping it's going to be some big like underground like passageway that goes kind of far across the map but who knows they would need to put some kind of transportation like an underground railway or something if they were going to make it that big but yeah anyway if you haven't liked and subscribed and left a comment by now definitely do it and let's see if we can figure all this out and even make our own theories for season six so let's get on to the skin leaks now and i gotta warn you some of these you will love and some of these might make you call epic lazy and wonder why we don't get cool skins anymore if you haven't seen it yet get hyped because because after all this time, we now know what the road trip skin is and we think it's called the Enforcer. But maybe don't get too high because some people actually aren't super impressed with it. I mean, it looks cool enough, but for a skin that takes at least seven weeks of challenges to unlock and it was a huge mystery, maybe Epic could have made it something, I don't know, a little more unique. But anyways, next up, check out Ravage. Now this skin, in my opinion, is amazing and will also be featured with this pickaxe called the Iron Beak. And you can even get a trail called Dark Feathers. For real though, I might buy Ravage just for those wings alone. Look at those things. Everything about this skin looks awesome. The helmet, especially with like those feathers popping up. Plus, I love the darker skin, so you can still kind of blend in a little bit when you're actually playing the game. But maybe those purple eyes will stick out too much. I don't know. I'll have to check it out. Two other skins that got leaked, but they just came out are the Musha, Musha, I think it's Musha, and Heim skins. So definitely check these out if you haven't already. With the next leaked skins, we see something straight out of the 1970s with the far out man and the dream flower kind of weird but epic likes to listen to the community and put things into the game that their fan base created so check out this picture where user Gropside on reddit posted his similarities between the far out man and himself but yeah maybe in the 70s just a lot of people dress like that but check this other one out too joski 73 he had a picture of his 80s fitness apparel that he dressed up in and look how close it was to the skin that came out just saying if you want a skin that looks like you in the game you might want to post it to reddit and see if epic uses it the backbone and chopper skins also got leaked and if you're into hardcore biking or just want to look like a big scary guy with tattoos these are expected to be 1200 v bucks each in the store soon i love this next one and i bet we'll see it everywhere it's called the cloaked star and i bet it will have some kind of backstory too since it looks super unique and like something that would come out of a rift or, or like a time traveler or something kind of like the road trip skin it might be just an epic skin though instead of a legendary so maybe i shouldn't get too excited about like a big storyline and meaning behind it but speaking of a skin that we will most likely see like everywhere it looks like the next starter pack skin will be this one and it looks super cool but i bet we'll get tired of seeing it just like the last starter pack skin it does come with the swag bag back bling though say that three times fast and it only cost five bucks plus you get 600 v bucks with it so six dollars worth of v bucks plus a skin and a back bling for five bucks so that's an easy buy for me the last two new skins coming out are the armadillo and the scorpion which look to be sort of a desert ops team so we finally get a desert themed skin to go along with our new corner of the map they look pretty cool but just your simple basic 800 v buck skin now let's check out all the new gliders real quick and i know for myself that anything with googly eyes on it is an insta buy for me all the pickaxes look pretty sweet too and i can't wait to hear what that drum one will sound like here are all the back blings for all the skins and we see the wings here that we talked about earlier 
That guitar is actually pretty awesome too, and I think I'm going to have to pick that up. So click like and subscribe if you guys haven't yet, and I really hope you guys enjoyed the Season 6 theories. I don't know why, but I always just love like reading fan theories and trying to figure out what will happen next in this game. So at this point though, I don't even know if Epic knows where to go with this storyline. School started back up for me guys, and I'm so sorry for not putting as many videos out for you. I'll keep looking out for cool ideas and doing what I can to get them out to you guys. So have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.